So, you have all those extra mats. You want to sell them, but the price is just so low it's not worth it? Well, I have a guide for you. Welcome back to another life skilling guide for Black Desert Online. My name is Teddy and today we're going to be going into a simple and FKable life skill processing. This is going to be a small guide since processing is very easy to do and can be done at any point in the game. So stay till the end to see how to get more materials when you process. To get started, all you have to do is bring up your processing menu. When you open it, you'll see that you have all different types of processing you can do with a respected knowledge list. Basically, a list of everything you processed before in the center of the boxes you'll see that there is a mastery that is introduced with the new life skill mastery system. The mastery controls how much you can produce with the batch processing but we're going to focus on getting down the basics before jumping into the mastery. For this guide I'm going to be showing you how to chop down wood you collect then process them down further to make them into items or sell them for more silver than the normal amount that you would normally get unprocessed. Place the logs in and hitting start will start the process of chopping down all the logs into usable scantling. It takes 10 logs to make one scantling at beginner's processing. The higher processing, the higher the chance you will get more resources when processing. If you guys are having trouble processing down any materials further, comment down below with questions and I will make a small guide on unlocking the processing knowledge needed for further processing down materials. It takes 10 usable scantling to make one standardized timber, which is used for more advanced crafting house recipes and can be sold for a lot of silver if you're just doing this for money making. Some items need other items to further process, so be sure to open your knowledge before to double check. To show you, grinding down 5 rough rubies gives you 1 ruby. Then, if you grind down 5 rubies, you get 1 resplendent ruby. But, if you heat 1 ruby and 10 coral pieces, you get a red coral. Shaking 5 resplendent rubies with 3 gem polishers gives you 1 blood ruby. Again, heating up 1 resplendent ruby and 3 red corals gives you 1 twilight red coral. Heating up the twilight red corals with 25 titanium shards makes 5 jade coral ingots. The mastery is extremely simple here. The higher the mastery, the higher the chance at more bonus materials when batch processing. To increase this, level up processing. Wearing the new Logia Craftsman clothes, Carta Craftsman clothes, or Manos Craftsman clothes, and finally the new processing stones will increase this. The new processing stones are broken down into different tabs in your processing menu. Lake for shaking, Vitality for grinding, Energy for chopping, Lava is for heating, Sun for drying, and finally Wind for filtering. To get these stones, heading over to the tool vendor in Velia, heading over to Logia Farm and talking to Camilla, you can directly buy Logia life skill items. Heading over to Tekthon in Heidel will let you buy his related processing stones. With all the new Manos life skilling items added, you'll be able to craft one or buy one off the central marketplace if you're lucky. Since there are normally none to buy, we will focus on crafting a Manos processing stone. To make one, it requires 30 moonlight opals, 15 gem polishers, 5 mana stones, and 50 magical shards. To make moonlight opals, it requires 1 metal solvent and 3 brilliant opals. Once you have them to make magical shards, you will need to break down black magical crystals used for enhancements. To do this, heat them up and if you have multiples, check to use all identical items to keep heating up all the stones in your inventory. To make mana stones, you can easily head to any jewelry vendor and buy them for 5 mil silver each. Buy or make gem polishers from either the central market or use your knowledge menu to help you craft gem polishers. When you have everything, simply place everything in your manufacturing tab in the processing menu and simply hit start. Once that's done, you have one Manos processing stone. In our case, it's Lake. One other way to increase the processing success rate is to use Seafood Kron's Meal, which increases it by 10%, the Deer Droughts by another 20%, and the Blue Grade Life Spirit Stone by 11%. If you're willing to spend real money, Buying the Venisil or the Karki suit in the Pearl Shop will also increase your success rate by 4%. And if there's any other things that I miss, please do let me know in the comments down below. These should increase your success rate to at least 41%. Doing this should get you more materials for crafting or selling to make silver. I hope this guide helped you with processing and if it did be sure to check out any other life skill guides that I have up and be sure to enjoy your grind to guru processing. You get a two, okay?
you get a tube, maybe, maybe like this, maybe like this big, okay? Then, you get the gerbil, you get the gerbil, like any type of gerbil or hamster or anything like that. Hear me out, hear me out, don't, don't get a little grossed out now. Hear me out on this one, okay? You put the gerbil in a tube and you tell him.